Hello one and all, this is Spare Time bringing you another tutorial for MechWarrior Online. There have been some changes along the way so I've decided to redo these tutorials to bring in some new pilots so you know what you're looking at and what you can do in order to get ready to get into battle. So let me get logged in here as I created a new account. I'm going to get logged in here so I can see exactly what you're seeing as you get started, okay? So hold on, we're going to get started here. Okay, as you start here, you'll see that you come up with one day premium time. Basically, that is a gift from these guys saying that uh, as you play, you'll get some extra experience and some extra money while you're playing for one day. Okay, so this only happens for your first day. Now, and here you go, you get to the, fr the first screen, it says launch tutorial. Let's go ahead and launch this tutorial here. And we're going to head over. I believe this will take you to the academy, which is what I wanted to show you today. So here we go. The year is now there's a long, not long, but a cutscene here that's kind of cool to watch. I'm going to go past it so you don't have to watch all this. So we're going to jump forward, but you can certainly watch it. Okay, so it starts you here with a lot of information. The key to this part is to really listen to what he's got to say and follow the directions exactly because they're looking for you to hit certain keys. The basis for the beginning of this is going to get you the basis for movement and for some of the weapon systems. So go through this and look at it. I'm going to jump ahead through some of these. Uh, nothing for me to really show you here. It will take you through just follow directions for what he says. All right, listen to what he says. And let's see here. On your left, the checklist. It shows your objectives and activities. Okay, the left hand side, that will show you what you need to do. And a lot of times it will have directions exactly what you need to push or hit or whatever else. So, what look at that, and that's telling you what you need to do to be able to advance on. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, I'm on my way to the first one here, the blue smoke. Now, one of the things that happens is sometimes you can get lost in here. They do not block off every possible way. So there are some times where you can actually run off in a wrong direction and get totally lost in this map. So make sure you, you look for the blue smoke and you try to get here. Um, but that's something you have to watch pretty closely. Make sure you look at the map, the mini map down at the bottom, to make sure you're heading in the right direction. All right? Now, this first one is just something in order to test your, uh, your driving skills. In fact, in some ways, in a lot of these ones, you will actually get some, some cash for doing some of these challenges. So make sure you get through them, get some of the extra cash, Give it a try. You have to get through them in order to get to the next step. So, hold on. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and you will do it on your own. All right. So we finished up the first one. Now we need to go on to basic targeting. All we do is walk through this. Now there is another way of getting to each one of these challenges. If you hit escape, go over here to the right hand side, and you see basic targeting. So if I wanted to start there. I can also just double click that and that would take me to there all right but for right now I'm gonna go over here okay hopefully you've listened to everything he said here because there is um, each one of these mechs has got some an area of them that is damaged so you need to make sure you look for that also keep looking around they sometimes hide them like behind corners and things. It's easy to get lost and off track. They don't do a good job about blocking you in so you can't get out of this area. So you can get lost, so make sure you watch and look around. They try not to move things too far off from where you normally are. So just go ahead and run through this gambit and you should be able to. All right, something they do not stress enough here. The guys with the blue we call these the Cool Ranch Doritos. The blue diamonds are the blue triangles. Those are friendlies. Do not shoot the friendlies. Only shoot the ones with the reds. And make sure you hit E. All right, so there's, that's the basic tutorial right there. That That's all they really give you about how to do the, uh, the Mech Warrior. So make sure you watch some other stuff out there. I'm going to put some more items or some more tutorials out there for you guys to look at. 
But meanwhile, I want to show you what the rest of the Academy has here. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. Now you can come back here at any time in order to try some of this stuff out. It's a great place to try some of the different sizes of mechs and practice some of your targeting and shooting. But that's all it is. This is practice. It is not training. It's not a tutorial, really. It is mainly just for you to try things out. There are a variety of different mechs all over the place here. You have the smaller mechs all the way up to the larger mechs. All of these mechs over here. The easy way to do this is just to walk up to one. And it's got a pretty cool animation that will allow you to take over the next mech. Alright, now that's how you get into a new mech. So you can try any one of these mechs. As you can see, there are letters on the mini-map down there. A, D, E, and H. And there's actually some other ones around here also. There's, um... Yeah, it looks like they're kind of hidden. Now, you see the enemies over here? That's not going to start until you actually go to that one. So don't get distracted and go off there. If you try to shoot those guys, they're not going to do anything. All right? You've got to actually start a trial. Two ways of starting the trial. Or the practices. Walking through one of the lights. One of these columns of light. Or hitting escape and clicking on it. On this over here, A and D were the ones you did during basic training already. You can go back and do those at any time. These other ones are weaponry, rapid fire, how quickly you keep firing, shooting gallery, uh, fire moving targets, and onslaught, they're coming for you. Um, then down here for survival is the gauntlet and running cord. I'll show you each one of these, but I want to show you how to get there. The easy way of getting to any one of these is to double click it. Let's go to rapid fire. Okay, after you do this one, it leaves you in the middle here. It doesn't take you any place. It leaves you in the middle. And if you try shooting these guys, nothing's going to happen. See? Nothing happens. So, in order to go to the next one, I hit escape. I'm going to go to the shooting gallery. And there's a countdown, and you'll see them coming up out of the water. Okay, if you find that you no longer want to do a challenge, hit escape, cancel event right in the middle. And once again, you're not put back to the main area. You'd have to walk back there, or if you want to go to another section, we've done rapid fire, we've done shooting gallery, we've done onslaught. Uh, we're going to do onslaught. All of these have different levels that you can go. You can actually increase the, di the difficulty as you go along, or you can decrease it. So right here, as it says, uh, press up arrow or down arrow to change difficulty. This tells you what you're going after. Okay, so far we've got rapid fire, which is just shooting all of the stationary enemy as quickly as possible. Shooting gallery, which has the enemy moving but not shooting back. And onslaught has all of them coming at you and then eventually firing on you if they get too close. Okay, now we're going to try the gauntlet and running core. Okay, the point of this challenge is for you to keep moving and firing while looking around. So this is one of the harder ones, especially for new pilots. 
you're supposed to go through the markers while still hitting each one of the mechs. Now you don't have to kill each one of the mechs. All you have to do is hit them once with any weapon and they will shut down. Okay. Go through here. And the next marker shows up. You have to watch for where they are. See, he shut down. Okay, now we're going to head and do the cord run, which is exactly the same, but I want to show you something here. All right, this is the same course, except look at your center torso, the lower left hand, right down here. You will see that it is what you're called cord, which means you only need one or two more hits on your center, and you will go, your uh, mech will explode. So you have to watch that. It's the exact same thing. You're running through here trying to learn how to turn so that you do not get hit in your center. All right, that's the object. All right, I'm gonna do this and I'll meet you back at the beginning. And when you're done, you're back here. All right, that is the Academy. It gives you a lot of things to work on, but you needed to know what some of the stuff was. Uh, it's kind of hard when you get into it to know what you need to do. Try the different mechs. There are different ones in here. And they got all different weapons and everything else. Um, if you wander off too much without going through one of the areas, you'll think you're doing something, but you're not actually uh, practicing anything. So remember, you hit escape, and you can go to any one of these, including the ones back at the beginning, the pilot challenge, where you can actually get some extra cash, and also the targeting practice. And then there's running cord and gauntlet, which are basically the same thing. It's just this one gives you more damage, so you have to protect yourself more. And you've got the rapid fire, which is shooting stationary targets as quickly as you can. Shooting gallery, which is moving targets. All you need is one hit on them, really, and they're done. And then onslaught, which may take a couple shots on them before they get close to you. All right, it's a little bit more of a challenge to see what they are when they're coming right for you. All right. Hopefully that helps you guys out and things go well for this. This is a good thing for practice. Once again, if you need anything, you have any questions or anything, please put them in the comments below and also make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of these. And I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.